When I got pregnant with my daughter Trinity, I told her, even though she was in my belly, I'm gonna give you the absolute best life. When I got pregnant with Charlotte, I promised her the exact same thing. Giving both of them the best life meant placing Charlotte for adoption and continue to take care of Trinity as she continues with the health issues that she has. When I graduated high school, I had all of these plans for myself. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's so good to meet you! I wanted to graduate college, I wanted to find the perfect husband and, you know, start my family. And I did graduate with my associate's degree, I did get married, and then I had my baby, Trinity. This is Trinity. <gasps> You have this idea of how it is to raise a baby and you don't really know what it's like until you have one. You're up all hours of the night, you're not getting the sleep that you think that you're gonna get and it's just a lot harder than what you think it's gonna be. And then on top of that, when you add a child that has some special needs, it's even harder. When I got pregnant for the second time, I was very, very scared. I recently separated from my husband. I had a little, pretty much newborn baby. She wasn't even a year old. She was a little bit over six months old. I was with someone that I didn't know very well. So I didn't know, you know, could this guy um, take care of me and my children? I live in a one-bedroom apartment with my daughter, and all of my time is dedicated to her. How can I take care of a newborn baby that's going to need my full attention? After several months, I finally decided to look into adoption. And at first, I just didn't think that there was any way that I could place my baby. I mean, I know what it's like to have a baby already. That bond that you have during pregnancy, but especially whenever you deliver that baby and hold them for the first time is unlike anything that you'll ever feel. At first, um, I just said, oh, there's absolutely no way that I could do that. Hi. Hi. But then I had to put myself out of the situation and think about my daughter, Trinity, that was already here and think about the baby in my belly and um, think about what was best for both of them. And that's why I decided to, um, to place my baby for adoption. There was an immediate sense of relief. A peace came over me, honestly, um, because I knew that I was giving my baby um, the best opportunity at life. And even though I loved her, and I still love her, um, I just knew that this is what she needed. She, she needed to be with another family. We're very, very excited to begin this journey. We're excited to share all those special moments with our child too. Christmas, seeing them open gifts, or the first time they experience the ocean. And I think every first you know moment for them we're excited about. You know, when we first get to hold our child, I think that's going to be a, <laughs> obviously a pretty special moment for us. We're extremely excited to become parents. It didn't take me long to pick the family. And once I decided that they were the perfect family for my daughter, it was really natural, our interaction and our conversations. As we started talking more and more and more, we got more comfortable. They told me I'm family, and that means a lot to me because I know that they weren't going to just be given the baby and then never talk to me again. It honestly was the hardest thing that I've ever gone through. I lost my dad when I was 16. I felt pain and I felt lost, but nothing like um, the pain 
that I felt when I kissed Charlotte for not the last time, but the last time for a, a, a while. I was very, very, very sad. I cried so much. I just want her to, to have everything. Um, I want both of my daughters to, um, to be able to do anything that they want to do and know that they can do that and to not have any fears. I hope that she knows how much I love her even though I placed her for adoption. The love that I have for my children is as big as this world is. I've had people tell me, you just gave your baby away, you don't love her, and that hurts me because if I had it my way, I would have kept her and struggled through this parenting thing. And that's why I wanted an open adoption. I wanted her to know that I placed you for adoption because I love you. I wanted to give you that best chance of life. I knew that that family could send her to college, take her on vacations, have her join all the sports she wanted to. I see how well she's doing and how happy that family is. It just reaffirms that I made the right decision. Hi, sissy. You're getting big. Yeah, look who it is. I'm at a really good spot and point in my life. Hi, sissy Charlotte. I know that Charlotte's taken care of. She's not wanting for anything. And I know my daughter Trinity is taken care of too. Knowing that I did this purely out of love and I made the right decision for her gives me a peace. And I don't have any regret at all. Even though Charlotte is now their daughter, she is still you know, my daughter as well. It's just different now. I don't feel regret. I'm really happy, really, really happy. Oh yes, she went to the pediatrician um, this week for her 18-month checkup, and uh, she has two more teeth coming in.